How's it going, everybody? This is Rob of Novacast, and this is the last watching Gotham video. This is season five, episode twelve, the new beginning. Okay, where am I going to start off with this? Cause holy shit, there is so much that I actually wanted to like address. Or at least a few things. And I want to try to like kind of extend this. Like give my thoughts on every single bit. With this particular episode. So it's been 10 years. Let, let, let's just start right, right there. It starts off by showing Bruce Wayne. Kind of going somewhere. We don't know where. But he has been gone for 10 years. And as far as everybody. Every, as everything has been going. Gotham has flourished. All the corruption has been under control by Jim Gordon, or at least taken care of by Jim Gordon as commissioner. And they got that freaking scummy mayor back. I didn't like that they brought him back. Though, I think they just brought him back for a freaking joke. If that was the case, it was kind of funny. But anyways, with this, everything seems fine. Everybody, um is flourishing uh, within the 10 years Wayne Towers rebuilt Gotham is rebuilt and supposedly Bruce Wayne is coming back though as the quote unquote return of Bruce Wayne is being announced too um, someone is apparently cleaning house when it comes to the criminal underworld. And I think we can all guess who that is. At the same time, um, the Riddler ends up getting released from Arkham, or at least escapes from Arkham. And at first, it's under the impression that Harvey Bullock may be involved because he tries to investigate a lead about one of the guards and they end up getting killed. And he ends up covering for the death by saying that he was the one that did it. So it's a race against the clock to... I keep using that phrase. It's a race against the clock to uncover who is really behind this and stop their plans. Now at first they think it's Penguin because he is just being released after a 10 year sentence but that's not the case as they find out like horribly and I want to point out that Jim finds out he finds out by experiencing kind of the same moment that he had with Penguin in the first episode where he had Penguin at gunpoint and he s spared him only this time I guess 6 months after they won the Battle of Gotham. Jim had him arrested, including Riddler. So now he's butthurt and wants to kill Jim for being in there for 10 years. But that doesn't go as planned because Jim ends up uh, saving himself by jumping in the water and uh, getting out safely. At the same time, with everything going on, People are trying to figure out, you know, who's the, what's going on, what's Riddler doing, what's Penguin doing. And it turns out that this entire time, after d defusing a bomb that was set up to blow up Wayne Tower, that this entire time, not only was he not brain dead, but Jeremiah Valeska has been planning this whole thing throughout, you know, just kind of thoroughly pl uh, planning this out, this whole situation. And when he is discovered, after they took out a guard, which had apparently had a mic on him, Jeremiah stops his act, goes after Barbara, kidnaps Barbara Lee, and takes her to Ace Chemicals. 
By which, and I want to point out that, and this is actually a really cool fact that um, apparently when Gotham was being like created, the show, um, they didn't have the rights to the character named Joker. So, in a sense, they kind of hint at Jeremiah being Joker when Gordon, I love this little moment where Gordon's like, it's over Jeremiah, and Joker, or Jeremiah, looks around and he's like, is there a Jeremiah here? And when he asks, what do I call you? He's all like, oh, you can call me Jack. You can call me James. I don't, he's like, I don't care. I just, I just feel like something different. Something as in using his words, beautiful. And he goes off explaining that kind of like being very upset about the fact that uh, Bruce left for 10 years eventually though he or at least Jim and Barbara Lee are quickly quickly saved by a mysterious figure throwing a batarang and Jeremiah Valeska aka I'm gonna just call him as it is the Joker knocks him out and again saves Gordon and Barbara Lee the last moments of the episode we have Selena Kyle kind of having a quick moment and earlier on in the episode um, she is robbing a, I'm assuming a museum which has the, actually the diamond that she wanted originally but she feels like she's being watched she, she steals the diamond anyways but realizes that there's something up for the last moment of the episode she's on a rooftop and she realizes that somebody's watching her again and realizes that it's Bruce and they have a quick exchange which honestly okay number three of my favorite moments uh, with their conversation I, I honestly the the I keep I, I've used this word several times the um, kind of relationship aspect between Selena Kyle and uh, Bruce Wayne was adorable to say the least it really was throughout the show but there is I will say some animosity from Selena or from Selena towards Bruce for leaving and I like that he says he's never going to leave Gotham again I kind of like and I think it just sounds like he's talking about never leaving her again either. Which, again, I have to point out, again, the relationship dynamic of this entire, and within this entire show, was just, it was adorable. It really was. I mean, it had its moments where it was, you know, there were rough patches, arguments, fights, whatever. But still, it was, it was cool. The actors, or actor and actress that played Bruce and Selena were great in this particular show and oh my gosh the last moment is when they freaking activate the spotlight and for a brief moment we see penguin and uh riddler escape a second time from the police custody and at first they're like oh we're gonna stop the batman or the or the man just like a bat and they see him in the distance or like maybe tomorrow <laughs> And the last moment is um, everybody. Uh, I'm trying to remember their names because I'm freaking like I'm floored by this whole moment. Jim Gordon, Harvey Bullock, and Alfred Pennyworth. All three of them looking at the one of the buildings on top of the buildings, and lo and behold, they see Batman. Or, yeah, Batman, pretty much. And it's great that for this entire episode, like, they don't say the name Batman. They kind of, like, add this whole, like, mystery. For those who don't know what Batman is, I mean, how would you not? But still, it, it was cool. It was a really cool moment. And, again, nobody knows who, who he is. So, okay. I want to say this. With 
the entire freaking show. I absolutely adored this show. I really did. This was probably one of the these really good shows that I absolutely love to watch. And I stuck with it. Um, it sucks that for the last season I had to wait for a long time. Like, no joke, as I'm uploading these, I'm not kidding. Um, I had to, like, for a lot of the episodes from season one to four, I binge watched every single episode. And I had to wait almost several months to actually watch season five. And all in all, it was, this has been a great experience. I really enjoyed it. It sucks that it has to end. But I did hear at one point that there was supposed to be a Batman series following up to Gotham. Who knows? But all in all, I am pleased with the conclusion. And if there was ever more, I would so watch it. All right, I think I might go ahead and end this here. This has been a great experience. Thank you guys so much for watching. Truly appreciate it. If you guys can, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. This is Rob of Novacast signing off. Have a good one, and take care.